MO stands for molecular orbital theory. So one last thing and we're done. You can go home and watch your favorite TV shows. Sigma and pi bonds, the general thing with sigma, you've already seen them in the molecular orbitals. Sigma means that the bond is between the nuclei. The bond occurs between the nuclei. A pi bond means that the bond happens elsewhere, not between the nuclei. Okay? A sigma bond can endure uh, rotation, a pi bond cannot. A pi bond will break as a result of uh, free rotation. So, uh, what's stronger, sigma or pi? Sigma's stronger than a pi bond. Okay, uh, a typical question is something like this, where we ask you to count the number of pi bonds. How many pi bonds do you see here? You're going to see three pi bonds contributed by double bonds. One, two, three. So this has three pi bonds. How many sigma bonds do you see here? I counted 13. Is that what you counted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember, double bonds have a sigma and a pi bond. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? By the way, what's the hybridization of this atom? SP3 has four groups. SP3. How about this one? SP2 has three groups. But what orbital how about for this one? It's not hybridized. S. S. If there's only one group, it's an S orbital. Okay? Is that good? All right. Uh, and one last thing. And then we're done. Uh, some people already signed up for this, but usually in my review sessions, uh, I advertise it. Next quarter I'm starting a little like spiritual group where people want to discuss spiritual things.